Hey guys. My birdies want to be in the video too. You guys want to say hi? Say. Yep, I'm doing a pop up tonight. Get my things together. Hi guys. How's everybody? It's a dreary Thursday night here at Summit Lake. Very dreary. Hi guys, enjoy your dinner. We had steak tonight too. Does it look fuzzy at all, Alexis? Cool. Good. Glad it looks clear. Because when I look at it, it looks fuzzy. Can you see my kitty cat over there? Hi, Angie. Oh, thank you, Kirk. Thank you, my son of a gun. How are you, Angie? Well, welcome. I hope you like the stuff that I'm going to show tonight. I'm going to have um, lots of uranium. I have some blue and white pottery. I got some um, linens tonight. I got some vintage books. Um... And I got a lot of glass, as usual. I always have some glass in my sales because I've got so much glass. So, my birds are over here. Alexis, can you see the birds? Maybe I should put them closer. Well, that's really as close as I can get them. I can move my computer a little bit so you can see them. There you go. There. <laughs> oh. It could be possibly maybe um, Tim over the years um, or Trisha or Dee or Miss Pam or I'm usually in it on everybody else's um, sales and I'm usually buying their things, but I've decided to have my own channel. <laughs> well, maybe some other people will pop in. Oh yeah. I wish me and Dee were closer. She's in Niagara Falls and I'm not in the opposite side of New York. I'm right close to um, Vermont, the border. I'm only like 30 minutes from Vermont, if that. Hi, Sue. How are you, Sue? Thank you for popping in. I appreciate that. You popped in for my pop-up sale. <laughs> I'm going to have some, some good stuff tonight. My birdies are starting to calm down and the, the sun is starting to go down. Yes, I'm in New York. Great. That's great, Sue. Yep, I'm on the other side of D on the 
I am on the east coast. I mean, on the east border of New York, and she's at Niagara Falls. So I do want to take a ride to go see D, and I want to do a live sale with D in Niagara Falls. And after she has her surgery with her soldier, her surgery on her shoulder, I'm gonna um um ride to see her. And it's not far of a drive. It's only like five hours, so it's not that bad of a drive. It's been cloudy and raining here all day, and uh, yeah, I'm getting sick of the rain. And it's, you know, it was like 90 degrees, 95 degrees last week, and now it's damp and rainy. It's like 69 right now, I think. Yeah, it's um, uh, near Albany. Um, they've got a lot of flooding, lots of rain. I think it, her her surgery is on the 14th. Yeah, she announced that the other day on her channel. And she's going to be sore for a while. She is going to be sore for a while. Yeah, I think it was either her last video or the video before that she announced her surgery. But maybe with her surgery, she'll be able to, you know, move her arm around and because she's been having a lot of problems with her shoulder. Are you guys being shy over there? Are you going to come say hi? Hey, come say hi. That's Charlie. The dark gray one is Charlie and the whiter one is Tango. They like to wake me up every morning with their chirping and singing. Like this morning, I was like, oh boy, they're like a rooster. I think it's still raining. Well, maybe it stopped a little bit. I wanted it just to get a little bit darker so that I can turn my light off and show you guys my, my uranium in the dark. Uh, yeah, because uh, uranium looks really cool in the dark. And I got this cat um, over here um, last weekend at a vintage store. She said that her um, her art teacher had made it. And so I bought it. I thought it was really cool. And I got this orange vase to go with it. I love Halloween. Halloween is my favorite holiday. Ask any of my children and they will tell you. <laughs> Oh, well, we have 10 people here. Maybe we should get going. Oh, you gonna sing now? Are you gonna say hi? Say hello. They're so cute. Mm. And where are you, Angie? It is 7.45. I think we'll wait a couple more people come in.
Well, at least I can say it's not snowing. <laughs> oh, boy. Snow is a bad word in New York. <laughs> Well, I think I'm going to get started. Yep. Um, I'm going to start with some of the rules that we have to go over. And this is a live sale. And if you could, you need to send me your YouTube name, your real name, your PayPal email, your PayPal email address, and your home address. And I'm going to put my info in here so that you can send it to me. And that is my email address. And if you could send me that information so that I can send out your invoice. You guys want to get started? What's the matter, Tango? Alexis, are you still here? Sounds like rain is coming. That's why I decided to sit inside. Too windy and breezy and chilly and damp and rain. I mean, it'll be nice by this weekend. Hi, guys. Gonna eat your seed? Are you gonna eat your seed? Let's see if we can turn turn up this light a little bit more. Or is that too bright? I think that's too bright. Hi Robin. I'm just messing with my lights. I got a new um light and I'm trying to figure out if it's too bright or if it's too dark. I think that's too bright. Making my eye twitch. <laughs> or is that too dark? Do you think that's too dark or is that okay? Or should I go up another notch right there? You let me know if, if it looks okay. How are you tonight, Robin? Great, thanks. Thanks. I have the light right here by the um, camera, so that'll work out a lot better. It's rainy here. It's about maybe 65 now with the sun going down. Ooh. It was 90 here not too long ago. But now it's all I've been doing is raining and raining and raining. The, I think so far the month of July has been rain. Well, we got nine people here. Maybe we can get started. Were you looking for anything particular tonight, Robin, or just um, whatever you thought was pretty you're going to get? 
Yes. Um, my husband actually said that um, when he got up and he had to go around the lake to go to work, that there were some trees down. But um, I didn't know that. Hi, Tracy. I guess I must have been sleeping pretty good because, and then plus the air conditioner is right there in the window, so I probably didn't hear anything. I hear you, Robin. But it seems lately, it's just like everything I see, I'm like, oh my gosh. I love it. Oh, yeah. Yeah. My birds are being very quiet over here. Aren't you? Aren't you guys being very quiet? Who's a pretty bird? Who's a pretty bird? At nighttime, they just kind of like, um, that's their quiet time. Well, I think we're going to get started. I've been on for um, about maybe 20 minutes now. And I'm going to get started. Um, I already went over the rules. And my email, if you guys scroll up a little bit more, if you haven't already bought from me, my email is right there and just send me info. And if you've already bought from me, you don't have to worry about it. I already have your info. So, and I'm not sure if um, Tracy Morgan um, has sent me info, but if not, just send it to me and let's get started. My first thing I have is a Betty Boop pillow. It is the latchwork and it is in really good shape. There's no stains and there's no rips and there's no tears. And in the back of the pillow, it is like um, a blue, a very nice blue. And then it has a lace trim around the sides. Like I said, there's no stains or no rips. And let's measure this. It is 15 inches. And this pillow is going to be $14, number 134. 134 for $14 for anybody who likes this Betty Boop pillow. You can see how the latch work really good in it. And their little shoes. And she's got red earrings on too. So this is 134 for $14 for anybody like this. Okay. Just writing that down. I like her design of her hair too. Somebody did a good job at doing this. Like, is there a professional that do this stuff? <laughs> Okay, now move on to my next. I know, right? Close up of her eyes. She's doing the side eye. <laughs> She's definitely doing the side eye. <laughs> okay, I'm going to come over here. Next, I have this really cute chicken. It is yellows and greens and browns. I hope the light's not washing that out. Can you let me know? If if it is, I can just turn the light down a little bit more. Just want you to be able to see the colors and not, you know, the brightness of the light. And this chicken measures. It doesn't have any chips or any cracks. It measures six inches across and by three inches. And this chicken's going to be $12, number 132. $12 for 132 if you'd like this chicken. It is not signed, but if, if you can see the coloring right here now. Just a little planter. No chips, no cracks. 
Number 132 for $12, if you'd like that. And she's got cute eyes too. <laughs> no chips, no cracks. Okay, and I'll go on to my next one. I have this really cute skunk. <laughs> he is really cute and is Mart. I forgot my magnifying glasses. I mean the yeah, magnifier. But this is a California California pottery skunk. Doesn't have any chips or any cracks. It's just a really cute skunk. And here's a sticker on the bottom. That says the California pottery right here. And I will measure him or her. And let's see. Three inches, and it is uh, three and a half inches tall. And this little skunk's going to be $9, and it is number 130. $9 for 130 for the little California pottery skunk. Cute. So, so cute. Okay, Angie, I'll write you down for that. Okay. And he's going to come home to you. Thanks. And let's see. My next piece is this really pretty... Um, it's kind of like a vanilla kind of color. It's not like a bright white. But this face has really pretty... Every flower is different on this face. Making sure that... Thank you, Angie. I appreciate that. You see, every flower is a different design and different color. Very pretty. And I'm going to show you right, right here it says hazel. And the green glaze right here says hazel. And then there's an H down here and it's got a circle around it. And here's the top. There's no chips or cracks on the tops, but there is a chip down right here on the base. And this is number 12. I mean, this is 128 and it's going to be $12. And I'm going to measure it for you. It is six and a half inches tall. 128 for $12 if you'd like this really cute, unique vase. I just liked it because every flower was different. And I liked the designs of the flowers. Very cool. Okay, and I'll go on to my next piece. I have a real pretty um, pilgrim glass vase. It is the cranberry, and it's the optic. And then the bottom it has the um, like the punch out down here at the bottom. And here's the top. There's no chips and there's no cracks. It's just a really pretty piece. And then here's the sticker that has the Pilgrim glass right here. You can see that. And then on the back it has the, um, it talks about the company. And I'll measure this. And it stands six inches tall. And the top is three and a half inches. And this is $18, number 126. $18 for 126. If anybody would like this pilgrim glass, and here's a sticker too. Down on the bottom. No chips, no cracks. Just a really nice piece of pilgrim glass. And it is cranberry. Here's the lid. I mean, the top. No chips, no cracks. 
Oh, good. Here's the bottom again. I just love Pilgrim glass. It's such a nice quality of glass. And I love that color of cranberry. Okay, and I'll go on to my next. I have a really pretty tin. It is like a turquoise color with all the little, um, every kind of color, button flowers all the way around. I just love this. It's so pretty. But when I put a sticker on it and um, when it rained outside, that posted note like ran the colors onto this and I haven't even tried to get it out. But you can still display it this way. It's still very pretty this way. I'm going to show you the top. Isn't that top pretty with all the flowers on it? Very pretty. And there's like the gold trim that goes around the top. And this is the bottom. And there's a sticker here that says, um, the tin, the, it's cookies and they're from New York City. And this tin measures seven inches across and it stands five inches tall. And this is going to be number 124 for $14 if anybody would like this tin. 124 for $14 if anybody would like this tin. And here's the top again. Just love that design. Very, very pretty tin. Okay, and I'll go on to my next one. I have this M. A. Hadley. It's an ashtray. I, you know, you can use it for for whatever you want. Put your jewelry in, your change, your keys, whatever you want. And your paintbrushes. It is the pink and blue, and I'll show you the back. It is. Marked in the back, M.A. Hadley. There's no chips on it. There's no cracks on it. It's just a very cute, sweet dish. And this is going to be $9, number 122. $9, 122. If anybody would like this. M.A. Hadley. Dish. And I'll show you the back again. There's the mark. Very cute. Look at her little tail. <laughs> that little tail is so cute. Oh. So cute. Okay, I'm going to go on to my next. I have a really pretty clear glass rooster. And all the stuff, most of the stuff besides uranium is stuff that um, is from my own collection, including this. This is a clear glass rooster. It is, I love it. I've had it for a long time. There is no chips on it. There's no cracks on it. It is all good. And I'm going to measure this to see how tall he is. He stands nine inches and he is seven inches. So nine by seven. And I'll just put him by my head here. And he does come off like this and you can keep M&Ms in there. Uh, jelly beans, candy corn, whatever you want to put in there. And that's going to be $22 and it is $120. $22 for $120 for the clear glass Brewster. 
Now I'll show you up close of his face. No chips, no cracks. I love all of his feathers and down to his feet. <laughs> he does have a serious look on his face. <laughs> Okay, and I'm going to go on to my next then. Put him back down here. Next, I have a gorgeous pair of Westmoreland candlesticks. They are the dolphins. And they are gorgeous. I've had these for many, many years. There are no chips and there's no cracks. I'll show you the top. The top is all good. There's no cracks, no chips. Show you up close to the dolphin here. It is Westmoreland glass. And for the pair of these, they're going to be $28 for number 118. $28, number 118, if anybody would like these, Westmoreland glass, candlestick holders. What I do is, because I have so much colored glass, is I'll change out the color of the candlestick um, that goes in style with my glass that I'm, at, I'm displaying at the time. So red, green, blue, purple, I mean, any color candlestick you can put in here would be so, so pretty. And it is pretty. So these are number um, 118, and they're $28. If anybody would like these, little Westmoreland dolphin candlesticks. Let's measure them. Don't believe, did I show these? I don't think I did. They are uh, uh, nine and a half inches. Okay, now go on to my next. I'm going to start doing some my of my uranium. Turn my chair around. And I'm going to turn off my light. I'm going to write this down first. Okay. My first piece is absolutely gorgeous and it glows like green this is what this piece looks like it is really hope you guys can see the glow really good isn't that pretty check out the handle on this I love that handle and it is all Crackle glass. I'm going to put this away and see if you can just see the crackling throughout the glass. It is all crackle glass. So pretty. Okay, and I'm going to put the light back on again. I know it is amazing. And I'm going to show you the spout here. I think I finally figured out how to work my stupid flashlight here. <laughs> Isn't that so cool? Very pretty. And this is going to be number 116, and it's $18. $18 for number 116, if anybody would like this. And I'm going to measure it real quick. It stands. I always grab the wrong end of the tape here. It stands almost five inches. Yep, five inches. And on the top, it is five inches from handle to the spout. And I'll turn my lid back on. There we go. And this is $18.116. If anybody would like this. It's pretty. There's no chips on it. There's no cracks on it. It is all good. Show you the crackle again. 
I love crackle glass. I have crackle glass in every color in my window in my kitchen. So pretty in the sun. Look at that crackle. So, so pretty. Okay, I'm gonna put this one up here. And I'm gonna show you another piece of uranium. I'm gonna turn my light back off. First, we're gonna measure it. The plate is eight inches. Okay, and I'm gonna turn off the light. And it is a coffee cup and saucer. Isn't that pretty? I love the design on the plate and the cup. So, so pretty. Looks like a glowing spaceship, doesn't it? <laughs> it is glowy, that's for sure. Very, very glowy. Okay, and I'm going to turn the lights back on. And this is number 114, and it is $16 for the teacup and saucer. If anybody would like that, show it to you again. And here's the cup and the saucer. I measured the, the saucer is eight inches across, and it does glow like crazy, as you just saw. Number 114 for $16 if you'd like this. Okay, and I will go on to my next one. Now these are really, really retro. I love these. I just recently found these at um, my antique store and check these out. They're the mushroom salt and pepper shakers, and I love the coloring and the glaze. I'll show you up close here. Set this one down. Isn't that glaze so cool? How it drips throughout that. And they're really a nice big chunky um, salt and pepper shaker. And I'm going to measure them here. And they are five inches by with a handle. Um, four. So they're pretty, um, you know, like I said, they're big, chunky. Big, chunky shakers, and I just love the colors, and they both have their stoppers in them. There's the bottoms. They both have their spurs. And these are number 112, and they are $14 for the shakers. Okay, and now we'll go on to the next one. I have a Jadeite Fire King cup and saucer. Let's measure the cup. The cup is four inches wide on the top. From the side to the side, that's four inches. And I'm not sure of the design. I'm thinking it's called a net, but I can't be 100% sure. But I just love this. And then here is the saucer. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I can't remember what the name of that print is there of the flowers. Hi, Terry. 
Oh, not too long. Not too long, Terry. Maybe, um, maybe 30 minutes, but I cannot, I really, it, it's fine. Uh, and the, and the plate measures six inches across. And like I said, it is Jadeite and the Fire King. The cup and the saucer are $20 and it is $110. $20 for the, cu the cup and the saucer for the Jadeite Fire King cup. Number 110. If anybody would like this. Very collectible. Well, thank you, Terry. It must be the lighting. I got a new light. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to go on to my next. Terry, do you like uranium? I got tons of uranium. I have my birdies over here too. They're getting ready for bed though. They're not being, they're not doing too chit chatty tonight, are you guys? I think the weather's, the weather's depressing them too. Oh, okay. That's fine, Terry. Everybody has different styles and tastes, so. Um, I'm going to go on with my next item. Now, I just got these at um, my other antique place, and it is that Russian that I don't know if you saw my video, Terry. It's the blue and white Russian pottery, and it is amazing. I love it. Love, love, love it. Check this out. Mm. Isn't that gorgeous, Terry? I love this piece. I was telling the story in my video that the lady was over on the shelf looking at, looking at stuff and I was just hoping that she wasn't going to buy it and she walked away. So I went right over and I scooped it up. Isn't this gorgeous? I'm going to show you the bottom in a second. And look at the top, the handle of the sugar dish. Gorgeous. Look at the blue and white flowers on this. I just love. Yes, I'm selling it. <laughs> I am selling it tonight. And look at the handle and all the trim all the way around. Absolutely amazing. Yeah. No chips, no cracks. I'm going to show you the bottom. The bottom says here in the stamped, Handmade Russia. So all this blue and white pottery that I'm showing tonight is stamped, Handmade Russia. No chips, no cracks. It is all good. I don't think they were ever used. There's nothing in, not even a sugar crumb inside of it. And Oh my gosh, this is just amazing. And look at the handle on this. It's dark blue at the bottom with a trim up here. So, so pretty. Oh, and I'm going to show you the top. Isn't it gorgeous? I love this. Look at the top here. Look at all the work on just the top. Yes. Look at the lid. I just love the handle right here. And this sugar dish is going to be $22, number 106, $22, 106. And I'm going to measure this. It's a big, it's a big uh, chunker of a sugar dish. With the um, handle on the top, it is six inches tall and it is by seven inches. And I'm going to put it next to my head so you can see it. So it is good size. And this is number 106 for $22 if you would like this. Beautiful, stunning, absolutely stunning. Prettiest sugar dish I've ever seen, ever. And pink is my favorite color too. But this, this pizza, I just love it. So pretty. Wait until you see the other blue and white pieces that go with this. Okay, and I'll go on to my next then. Put this back in the box. I know. 
I know, Terry, I know. Now, like I just said, all this blue and white that I'm showing you is all, it is all marked handmade in Russia. And, uh, hi, hi, Side Street Market. Thanks for coming in. I saw this on the shelf and I, would, I scooped it up real quick. Look at this sweet turtle. Oh my gosh. This turtle is amazing. And he has a little butterfly on the top of his shell here. And I love all the blue and white um, swirls and the markings in this turtle. He even has a little um, flower in his hat. And look at his sweet face and smile and those lashes. <laughs> so, so cute. Oh, and the top does come off here like this and inside the turtle look at the inside it's got a little blue um design in there and i'll show you the top of his head again look at that turtle so cute and like i said it is marked on the bottom here handmade russia i just love this and then the top just goes back on again I know, so sweet. So, so sweet. And I'm going to measure it for you. He is six inches with his tail by three. Now put him next to my head so you can see him. So cute. Just a really cute little trinket dish. This is going to be $22 also. And it is number 104, 104, $22 for the turtle. Not too many, I think maybe four or five. So this is number 104 for $22 for this really sweet turtle with his little butterfly in his back. And it does say in the bottom, handmade Russia. Is this so cute? Oh, I can just see him sitting like by a pot of um, uh, violets or something. You know, just a little pot of flowers in your kitchen or wherever. So pretty. But, uh, yeah, I'll show you, Terry. I've only got like four or five pieces of the blue and white pieces. That's all there was, or I would I, I would have bought it all. I got every piece that was on the shelf. There's no chips or cracks on this turtle either. <laughs> Look at that face. <laughs> oh, I just love this. Okay, and I'll go on to my next. Okay, um, I'm going to show you a piece of my, no, that's my only, that's my only figurine tonight is that turtle, I believe, yeah. Let me check. Oh, no, I've got another couple of glass, I've got glass figurines also. <laughs> I have this pink optic, beautiful candy dish. No chips, no cracks. It is just simply gorgeous. Simply gorgeous. Show you the top. There's no chips. There's no cracks. Very, very pretty. And I love that. I love the handle right here. And I'll show you the bottom. No chips. No cracks. All is good. No flea bites either. And I will measure this. 
And this is, this stands six inches tall with the lid and I mean with the handle of the lid. It's so it's six by six and I'll put it next to my head so you can see it. I just love this color pink. Very, very pretty. And this candy dish is going to be $22. I'm stuck on $22 tonight. Look at my pen. And it is number 100. $22 for number 100. Pink candy dish. Okay, and I will go on to my next one. I like to put the top upside down. My next piece is, um, I got it with all the blue and white stuff yesterday when I went to the, the antique store. Yeah, everybody does. Okay, um, my next item here is a glass. It is um, lead crystal, and it is a cruet. So if you want to make your own salad dressings, this would be awesome for that. And I'm going to show you the cut designs around the sides here. Very, very pretty. And it is um, crystal. It does have a little bit of weight to it. And look at the stopper on here. Pop it out here. Isn't that pretty? I think there's a chip right here in the stopper. Yeah, there's a little chip on there. Wow, it's really not. It's kind of smooth. It's not even a chip. That's weird. But check out the hand on here. It's got like... um cutting through the handle also. It looks like bubbles, but it's not bubbles. It's like etched through the sides here. Let's see how tall this is. Very, very pretty. It is almost eight inches tall. And it is with a handle, um, four inches. And this is number, this is $14. Number 102, if anybody would like this, um, lead crystal cruet. Very pretty. Love all the etching on it. The whole design itself is very pretty. From the stopper down to, and there's no, I'll show you the spout too. There's no chips on the spout. Very clean. So that is number 102 for $14 for anybody would like that. Next, I'm going to show you a piece, the uh, another piece of my blue and white um, Russian pottery that I got um, yesterday. And this is a coffee urn. It is just for display. It is just a faux coffee urn, but it has like the gold gold detailing on the handles and the spout here. And also, there is some gold throughout some of the blue paint on the top and throughout through the flowers. Very pretty. So kitschy looking. And I'll show you the back. And the top does come off. So you could put oh, maybe your sugar packets in there or whatever. That'd be a good idea. See the gold trim that goes around the top of it and there's some gold throughout the flowering. And it does say in the bottom, handmade Russia on the bottom. So pretty. There's no chips, no cracks. I'll show you the top. This is what the top looks like with the flowers around the side. And this is going to be $24, number 98. And I'm going to measure it. It is a... um. 
a bigger piece. This measures six and a half inches tall. By handle by handle, it is five and a half. And I'll put it next to my head so you can see it. It is a, um, a pretty good size piece. Isn't that pretty? Those blue flowers are just stunning. So pretty. And this is number 98 for $24 if anybody would like this. Okay, I'll go on to my next. I have some linens. I have some really, really cute linens. Now in this bag, there is four table, let me see the four placemats, four placemats and seven napkins. So this is what the placemats look like. They are um, roosters. They, they kind of like look like a water print rooster, don't they? Like they're done with water print or water paint. Very cute. And then the background, that's kind of like a buttery, creamy yellow. Then the back. I don't believe these were any of them were used because I know that one of the one of the napkins has a the price tag still on it. So yeah, that's the back. I don't see any staining or rips or tears on any of them. Like I said, there's four of them here. And the tag, on this tag on the back, it says, um, Made in India. And I'm going to show you one of the napkins that go with it. And then here's the price tag for the, uh, it says Anthropology on the tag here. And they all are brand new, all still folded up. And here's one of the napkins right here with a yellow check bordering around the sides. Very cute, aren't they? They look like a water print. And then there's two of those and there's two other different um, designs on these. So you get two of those pink ones and then four of the other ones. I'll show you what that looks like. This one's like a totally different print. Kind of looks like the placemat. Then this is what this one looks like. Just like the placemat, but these are all big napkins with the um, the yellow check around the sides. So that's cute. And these are going to be $14, number 96, if anybody would like those. Placemats. I'll put these back. I love earth tones too. I love all colors. <laughs> all colors. I have a real pretty um, pillowcase I got yesterday at the Easy Place. I have a lot of um, red and white um, plates and dishes. Cause they, they just, they're stunning. And I got this, um, pillowcase covering that is the red and white. And it's kind of like, um, it's a, uh, felty feeling. Yeah, it's felt. And then the top and then the designs on the pillow right here is felt also. And it's a very good quality. There's no name brand on here or anything like that, that I've seen, but here's the zipper and it works perfectly fine. All you need to do is stuff it up with a pillow or put your own stuffing in it. Let's see how th big this pillowcase is. It's really pretty. There's no stains on it. I don't think it was ever used. Looks brand new to me. It is 24 inches across and it is uh, four, 15. 15 by 24. And then here's the back. The back is all red in the back. It's more like a um, 
Oh, what color is this? Well, it, it is red and white. I'm not going to say it's a different color because it is red and white. Like a um, burgundy, I guess. I'm not sure. And this is going to be $14 number two for the pillowcase. $14 number two for the pillowcase. If anybody would like that. Is it a bed sham? I don't have a bed sham. It's a, it's a pillowcase. So this is number two for $14. If you'd like this pillowcase. Now all you have to do is put the, um, unzip it and put your stuffing in it or your own pillow in it. And I see the, um, thing right here. So I, I it is, I bet you it's brand new, never used. Very, very pretty. They look pretty on your couch or in your chair. Either way, I do have one figurine in here I just got too. This is a little blue. I love the blue in her, the whole design here. A little Dutch girl. Let's get a close up shot of her face. She's really cute. Um, I have a glass chicken. I can show you that in a minute, Terry. I have that chicken, and I think that's all the chickens I had. Oh, and then I, I do have this chicken. I have two chickens. I can show you this chicken, Terry. I do have this chicken. I don't know if you've seen this before. It is the yellows and greens, and um, there's some brown in here. It's very, it's very kitschy looking. It is a planter. There's no chips and there's no cracks. I think this is towards the things. Uh, and this is $12, number 132 for the chicken, if you would like this. $12, 132, and I'll measure it for you. It's starting to get windy out there. Holy moly. Oh. It is five and a half inches by. With a tail, it is three and a half inches. I'll put it. Sure, I'll show it to you. Okay, and I'll go on to the next end. You want to see the chicken linens? Okay. Yeah, they are cute. Never used. They still have some of the price tags on them. They're like a real creamy yellow color. Like a buttery color, yellow. And this is them. There is four tablecloths. I mean, placemats. These are the placemats. Aren't they so cute? They kind of look like watercoloring. And um, there is four of them here. And they're all a nice, sturdy, um, thicker material. So I'm assuming that you could probably, you know, just throw these in the washing machine. And then it comes with... There's four placemats and seven dinner napkins that come with it. And I'll show you the um, napkins. Now there's two napkins that look like this. Let me see if I can get it up right. And it does look like a water. This is the first napkin with a chicken on it. And it's got the yellow checkered bordering around the side. And see here's the, the tags are still on them. So they were never used. They're all in perfect condition. And then that other one. Oh, and then the other ones look like this. With the yellow bordering. So there are seven napkins and four placemats. Sure, I'll measure them. Of course, of course. They are, let me get my tape measure out of here. I don't know how got stuck in there. They measure 19 inches across and they are, get it straight here. So 19 by 14. 
19 by 14. No, I'd say that's your standard size placement right there. And these were number, let me look back here. These were $14, number 96, if you'd like those. $14, number 96 for the placemats. Now, like I said, they're a nice buttery, creamy yellow. Very kitschy. That would brighten up any kitchen, those placemats and napkins. Fold them all back up. Yeah, I don't think any of them are... No, you know, I just showed you the price tags. Okay. That sounds good. Thank you. Okay. Um, I'm going to show a piece of uranium. I'm going to turn the lights off. So you can see. And here we go. Boom. Check out this uranium. This glow is pretty good. This is an amazing piece of uranium. And I love the print on the plate too. There's no chips. No cracks. Okay, Mrs. Berkeley girl. I will put you down for them. <laughs> okay, and this, I'm going to turn the light back on. I just wanted you to see how, how glowy it is. And boy, it is glowing good tonight. I'm, I'm glad I waited until it got dark outside. Pretty cool, huh? It's amazing that glass can do this. Okay, I'm going to turn the lights back on so we can see. I'll show you here in the light. It doesn't have any chips or any cracks. And I'm going to measure the first plate here. And this plate measures eight inches across and the cup measures let's cut measure the top of the cup here four so the plate measures eight i'm going to put you i'm going to put this down so i can write that down yes yes mrs berkeley i will put you down for the Placemats. I got you. Okay. Thank you. I appreciate that. Was anybody interested in that ur uranium cup? If not, I'll just go on to the next. Okay. I'm going to show you my beautiful pair of champagne uranium glasses. They are gorgeous. I believe they are Fostoria or uh, Imperial Glass. I'm not sure, but they're, they're gorgeous. And I'm going to turn off the light so that you can see them. They are gorgeous. Wait until you see them. I'm going to show you one at a time. Look at this champagne glass. Look at the bottom of the champagne glass. 
trying to get my fingers out of the way so you can see it all. As you can see, the design around the cup, there's no chips, there's no cracks, there is no flea bites on the champagne glasses. Isn't that awesome? This really glows really good. I just love the bottom of them. Show you a close of the bottom here. Oh, there goes my light. That's all she wrote. And I'm going to turn the white light back on. And I'll show them to you in the light. And here they are. They are a matching set of champagne glasses. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Aren't they so pretty? Look at the design on them. I know Scott from Old Curiosity Shop would tell me what design they are, but I can't think of it right now. And for the pair of these champagne glasses, they are going to be $28 for the pair of champagne glasses. And they're number four. Number four for $28 for the pair of champagne glasses. I'm going to measure them real quick, too. They are five inches tall, and the top is four. Number four for $28 for the matching set of gorgeous uranium champagne glasses. Cheers. Like I said, no flea bites. No cracks, no chips. Just simply gorgeous. Okay, and I'll go on to my next. Put them back in my box. I'm gonna go have. I'm gonna. Ha I have some books. I have a couple of books. Well, quite a few books. Some here. My first book is this one. Now, I love the graphic and the color of this book. Look at the guy's face. And as you can see, it says Tom Swift and his Atomic Earth Blaster. Mm -hmm. I just, it is in really good shape. The binding is good. And here's the back of it. And this book measures eight inches by five and a half. And I believe it's from the 50s or the 60s. And here's the in, inside of it here. Looks like they're in a, a scuba tank. <laughs> And inside here it says, let's see, Tom Swift and his Atomic Earth Blaster. <laughs> what a title to a book. I'm trying to get the date on here. I think it was 1959 or 61. <laughs> Nineteen fifty four says it right here. Nineteen fifty four, and this book is going to be nine dollars, number six. If anybody would like that, nine dollars, number six for this book. Anybody like this? I just love his face. It's like, ah, oh, run for your life. <laughs> that coloring is awesome. Okay. And I'm going to go on to my next book. This book is so pretty. I love the graphics of this book, which I will show you in a second. It says the little train. And look at the print on the book right there. It is like a... um. A plum color book. 
and when you open up the book, this is the graphic in the inside of it. It's kind of like um like a rusty brown color and the grays. The so train's going by. Gonna come up over the bridge here. And this book, I believe, well, it says right here, Christmas 1950, right here in pen. As you can see under my fingers right here. And I think the book is older than that. Let me see here. The Little Train by Lois Linsky. Let's see. London, New York, Toronto. And inside it says... 1940 right here and this book is in very very good condition there's no rips there's no tears the only thing that is wrong with this book that i saw is just that they wrote christmas 1950 in pen here but the pictures in here are so awesome i'll show you some here's a picture right here of the train the locomotive. Most of the pictures throughout this book are all black and white. But I just love the print. So, so cute. No, they don't make print like this anymore. Here's a really good page right here. Of the whole train itself. Here's another picture of another train here. And this book is also going to be nine bucks, number number eight. Nine bucks for number eight for the train book here. If anybody would like this. And I will go on to my next then. My next book is, it just reminded me of summer when I got this. It is Harry by the sea. And look at that little puppy sitting under the umbrella in the sunshine on the beach where everybody should be this summer, right? <laughs> okay, let's see. Like the color is all yellows and that pretty green. Oh, so cute. Okay, let's see. I think this one was from the 60s, so I believe. Here's the front page of the book. They're all heading off to the beach. Don't forget the little puppy. <laughs> that must be Harry. I already read the story. It's a cute story. And I believe, let me see. It does say 1960 or 65 or 45. I believe it says 1965 right here. But all the pictures are so cute in here of the beach and of Harry. And let's get another picture here. Here's a cute picture. And it, it is a cute story. And this book is also going to be $9, number 10, if you like Harry by the Sea. No, there's no chips. I mean, there's no rips or stains on this book. The um, binding is really good. Really, really cute. Hi. Thanks for popping in. Okay, now my next book is really, really cute. I love this Raggedy Ann book. Does anybody like Raggedy Ann? I love her. This is a really, really cute book. And this is not an old book either. This is probably, um, you know, a recent book. But it has some cute, cute pictures in here. And basically, the whole book is talk, talks about how Raggedy Ann um, got her heart. How she got her candy heart. It's a cute story of Raggedy Ann. here's the front and it does have the dust cover with it also and this is going to be uh also nine bucks and it is number 30 if you'd like the raggedy ann book 
Nine dollars number thirty for the Raggedy Ann book. Okay, and I will go on to my next. Sounds like it is raining out there again. Oh, I'm so sick of this rain. It is, it is raining out there. You know, in July, you're supposed to be... It's just, it's just too much rain. Okay, my next piece is... I'm just trying to be careful without my glass over here. Come on. When I got that blue and white pottery, I bought it all because of this piece. This beautiful teacup. It is blue and white Russian pottery. It says on the bottom, I'm going to show you the bottom. Handmade Russia right there in the stamp. Very, very pretty. Blue and white. Russian pottery. Look at those roses and the detailing. So, so pretty. Now I'm going to show you the cup. This cup is stunning. Look at the roses on the side here. And I love this handle. That handle is so sweet. And it has the blue down at the bottom here, too. I'll go around slow so you can see the whole cup. So, so pretty. Look at all that detailing. I'll show you the inside. And this is the inside of the cup. Isn't that so pretty? And I'm going to measure the top of the cup here. Okay, I'm just trying to find my tape measure. I got it. It's right here. Okay. The top measures uh, just about four and a half inches across from this side to that side is four and a half. Now let's measure how the little saucer is here. It is six inches. Now put it next to my head. So pretty, isn't it? I just love this. And this teacup is going to be $18. Number 32. If anybody would like this. Gorgeous Russian blue and white pottery. So, so pretty. Okay, and I will go on to my next. Put that back in there. Put my books back up here. I'll put them over here. I'm going to grab a drink real quick. Okay, I'm going to show you this little cute. I got a blue and white Dutch girl. I'm not sure if you can see, but this is blue up here, dark blue, but then it's shaded around the edges in a light blue around the around the darker blue. But isn't she so cute? It is stamped on the bottom, made in Japan. Just a little blue and white little Dutch girl. Show you around to the back here. There's no chips on her. There's no cracks. And I'll show you that she is a planter up here. All nice and smooth. And I'm going to measure her. 
She is five inches tall and she is four and a half inches wide. And I'll put her by my head so you can see her, the size of her. And she's going to be $12. And she is going to be number, let me set her down so I can look through my book. Number 33, $12 number 33 for the little Dutch girl planter. Anybody would like that? And her skirt too around the back is also, you know, this her skirt is all like like a baby blue. And then look at her little shoes. Her little shoes are, you know, a lot darker blue than her top and up here. They're all like the same color blues. And then there's some lighter blues throughout it. And a little rosy cheeks. <laughs> so she's number 33 for $12. Anybody would like that little cute little Dutch girl? Okay, hey guys, I think I basically have gone through everything. Would you guys like me to start from, from the beginning? Because I don't mind going through um, since the beginning. Just let me know. If not, I'm just going to pop off. Yeah, because there's only six people here, so... I think my birdies are ready for bed. <laughs> are you guys ready for bed? Aw, are you sleeping? Hi, Charlie. His name's Charlie. And I say, Charlie bit my finger. Yeah, I was hoping that somebody was gonna like some uranium tonight, but maybe it wasn't a good night, so I can do it another night. Thank you. You guys have a good night, and I will see you in my next video. Okay? Bye, guys. Good night.